Okay, welcome everyone. I am Emerald Green and I am the chick who reads. I'll be bringing you intuitive messages directly from spirit. I do want to let you all know that these readings, they are for entertainment purposes. So it may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does, I do ask if you would hit that like button. And if you feel called, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Now, um, keep in mind what to wrote. Energy is fluid. So I could be saying he and it could be a she. I also mentioned zodiacs as well as time, but it is all energy. So put it as it may resonate. Flip it around, adjust it accordingly, but do not force it to fit. Please and thank you. Um, Y'all, I've already cleared the energies on the cards and meditated on. Um, we got, you make me wonder, woman, how do you do it? Your superpowers by John Legend. I said, well, they wonder, woman. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do I need to see and say? What's the overall energy? I'm going to pull one from the Tarot and then I'm going to pull from the Island Time Wellness. Can I get one card from the Tarot for the overall energy? We got the Six of Pentacles and the Judgment. Okay. Can I get one card, please? And thank you. Okay, Six of Swords. Okay, so somebody could be leaving from something that was tumultuous or there was some turbulent waters going on. There was a lot of emotions. Somebody made a necessary transition. They may have taken their child with them or they could have just left, you know, with someone who knew how to steer them to, you know, to calmer waters or to a, um, a better environment. This person is coming from a lot of violence, a lot of fighting, a lot of chaos, a lot of, um, could be a lot of challenges, um, obstacles. It's a lot going on over here. Change is definitely in the mix. Somebody could be trying to fight for their happiness or fight for something that's emotionally um, fulfilling to this person, like their wish fulfillment. So let's just pull a few. I'm the Island Time Wellness, and then I'm going to, you know, clarify. Show me what I need to see and say, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Why do we have the Six of Swords here? We got the boat in the reverse that flips out here. Why do we have the Six of Swords? What's going on with the Six of Swords, please? I'm going to read it in the upright. Um, but I'm getting like somebody could have blocked or tried to block somebody from receiving what they need or typically with boats i see movement we got a boat here that's going in the water this man is pushing this boat with the boat here somebody could have tried to block somebody from moving on we got i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting or want to date so somebody could have had some closure issues or they could have been fighting to get up out of a situation and somebody did not want this person moving on they didn't want them to progress they didn't want them to see anybody else. And with this, we got the sunglasses also coming out. Somebody is watching this person. Could be stalking. Um, there's this in. There's this energy of somebody watching, stalking. They looking. They could be trying to get a change perception on something. But somebody is leaving a situation, they moving on. They like, look, I'm not dealing with this shit no more. They could feel like, or you could be moving on from a situation. And you're being stalked. Somebody is watching you hard because they really like you. They thought something was blooming. You was like, look, I ain't got time for none of that BS. Holla at me. Uh, catch me on the TV is what I just heard. <laughs> There could have been some type of intuitive knowing or some type of inner feeling that you knew or felt about a situation. And you was like, look, I'm not about to go through any of that. Uh, I don't know. Somebody's the baddie and the CEO. Um, somebody knows their worth is what I'm getting. And they're not about to be in any type of competition, no challenges, jumping through nobody, hoops, loops, none of that arguing fighting somebody said i don't fuss i don't fight what is the boat why do we have this boat here we got somebody that really likes you though 
or you like somebody. It was some type of fun flirting date or somebody wants to date. We got the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody could have been working on moving on really, really bad. Because we got the, the Five of Cups. That's somebody that's sad and despair. Um, thinking about the past. I'm, it's giving me like crying over spilled milk. And somebody is working on fixing something. Or somebody was trying to fix something to prevent somebody from leaving. We got the devil. <sighs> I heard all my life, I've been grinding all my life, sacrifice. It's like somebody knows they have to move on from a situation, a person, a, a location or something. So they're working really, really hard. This person is literally putting their head down. They could be, you know, have their moments of sadness or, or a hard time moving on at times. Like they, they struggle with these closure issues. But it's like somebody is hopeful or they, they know that they're going through a change. They're not really concerned about where they are. It's like somebody is working really, really hard to get to where they, they said, damn right, I like the life I built. Somebody is working really hard to get to a position where they are no longer in this despair, this negative energy, this low vibrational energy. They, they're they're hopeful for change, but right now it's like they're in this season of like being in the valley where it's like a lot of darkness, a lot of healing going on. Somebody is climbing. They're working really, really hard to get from, get to the light, basically. <clears throat> Why do we have sunglasses here? What's this sunglasses? This is a lot. We got the seven of wands with the knight of cups. Somebody did not want to end something. That world card came out completely in the reverse. Somebody was trying to stop something from being put to an end or closing out. So it could be somebody who this person is leaving behind does not want them to get away. They watching them, stalking them, or this could be somebody that you're leaving that's watching, stalking, that's looking on behind the glasses like you can't see their ass. It's somebody you used to be in a relationship with or you had a stable foundation with uh, once upon a time before you got your confidence up or had to clean and heal your energy. I'm getting like you're manifesting something or somebody is manifesting a new um, situation, a new life, a whole new world is what I heard, but they're in this planning phase. So it's like somebody is really trying to stop somebody from succeeding at whatever it is you could be getting a lot of offers or this person could be getting a lot of offers and these offers are being turned down somebody is focused on their life grinding it's like not grinding all their life it's somebody that really likes this person or somebody that really likes you or you really like this person but it says someone likes you. They want to date you. Why are sunglasses here, though? What's going on with the sunglasses? Somebody is watching someone leave. They're not able to stop them. It's like somebody is sad that somebody is working on their stability. They didn't want them to move on. They didn't want them to change or do something different. So all they can do is watch. It says, where do we go? Where are you hiding? We have this emperor energy could be watching. This emperor could be planning something. In all honesty, you could be moving on from a situation and this emperor energy. You're working on your future you're healing from past hurts and heartbreaks and despair, like things that um, make you feel unappreciated or down. It's like you're transitioning. You're moving on from that energy. Somebody in this emperor energy is giving me strong Avery, somebody who has um, either a grip on their life. They thrive in some type of power or authority is watching you in this growth phase. Somebody said just one more time. 
Oh no, I said be careful of those just one more time. <laughs> Why do we have sunglasses here? We get the judgment in the reverse. <clears throat> Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And the Nine of Wands flips over. The fact that the judgment comes out in the reverse is like somebody doesn't want somebody to blow the or sound the trumpet on something. They don't want this to be final. This person could have missed an opportunity. Somebody said just passing through your neighborhood. We got the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. It's giving me like there's this energy of being guarded, very passionate, and, and like a strong desire. It's like somebody is rushing. They're, they're not taking any chances, and they're going towards what they're building, that legacy. An empire is what I hear. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Who's moving on from what? Why is the Six of Swords here? Because that's the overall energy. It falls on the Emperor. We got Justice. That Justice has been coming out. Why is the Six of Swords here? We got the Temperance. I'm not taking it because it didn't fall out. But why is the Six of Swords here? We got the Page of Pentacles. So somebody got some type of. I see love inside your brown eyes. Listening to new skies. Somebody said I absolutely had to say goodbye. Somebody is moving on because there was. It's like they're getting their own justice. Um. The page of Pentacles gives me like somebody who's patient, who is noble, um, could be a very, you know, premature energy. But it's like somebody feel like they're getting their own closure is what I'm getting. Somebody was going to keep penny pension or kept or was going to keep doing something in a situation. So it's like somebody had to get their own balance. Just as the temperance energy tried to come out, somebody went for their own healing. Um and it's like they had to move on because it was like only one person working at something in a situation. Maybe there was a lot of like in the situation. This was in a talking phase. This wasn't really something serious. Somebody wanted something to ascend more, but it didn't go where they thought it would. And then it, somebody got this empath and narcissist paradigm type energy. They felt used. They felt like an enabler. They possibly didn't enforce any boundaries. And it got them in this loss, lack type energy. And it's like, you know what? I'm just going to agree to disagree and move on. And whoever this was, who was in this energy, you know, controlling, having control of their life, you know, everything going good in the neighborhood. They felt like they didn't have to give someone closure or maybe they felt as though they didn't think that this was the end. I was like, how are you just going to say goodbye? Don't nobody blow the damn trumpet until the emperor say the damn trumpet needs to be blown. This person is feeling it. It's like a lot of attention on this six of swords energy. It was necessary for this energy to move. Why is this judgment in the reverse though? You got the ace of wands. This is something new. Somebody was like, wait a minute, damn it. You're not even a type to do this type of shit. <laughs> what are you doing? We got the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, the Two of Pentacles, right? The Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and then the Five of Wands. There was a lot of people fighting for this person's attention. Why is judgment here? I'm getting like this ain't energy that people normally do to this emperor. 
they like, look, hold on. I didn't sound that trumpet. Who the fuck blew the trumpet? Taking these new actions, doing different stuff. No, we don't do stuff like that. And they, I don't know. This person is just not, they're not saying nothing. They, they possibly looking, studying, watching. Because we got the hermit that flipped over in the deck. Typically, the hermit is, you know, very wise. They chill to themselves. They don't They don't be mixing and mingling with anybody. But it's giving me strong Virgo energy. We got the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck, right? Got the magician, the nine of cups, and then the four of wands. Somebody is about to manifest something that's going to bring them complete and total wish fulfillment. Like stability, a whole bunch of good stuff. And I'm getting like it's this Queen of Cups energy because of a transformation, a change that they made, which brought this emperor into this King of Pentacles energy. The King of Pentacles loves taking care of family, loves taking care of, of what's theirs. Like they like, look, you don't got to ask me or tell me how to do something like I'll go and do it and get it done. Like without you even be like, you could think about it, want it. And the King of Pentacles is already on that shit because, um, there's there's no expense spared when it comes to the ones that they love or care about. And it's like there's this heart activation. Somebody took a new action. Why is this judgment in the reverse? Why is this judgment in the reverse? Who is that? What is that? The fork. <laughs> this person. They like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pass up on this opportunity. You know what? I was in this energy. I wasn't feeling good. I was, you know, it just seemed like everything was the same. This person may come back saying like, you know what? I didn't think because, you know, it's a lot of men or women who do that all the time. They, you know, act like they're going to leave and they come right back anyways. Like this person could feel like you were going to come back. They ain't had to do nothing different because why? Why would they? Like you can't teach an old dog new tricks. They're not going to just, just do anything, you know, for no reason. I mean. What am I trying to say? They're not just going to do new stuff for no reason. We got the hangman, the hierophant, and the devil trying to come out. With the ace of cups and the page of wands. Hold on now. The temperance fell out. So this new action brought some type of balance in something. It brought harmony. The fact that you tooted the horn, you sounded the damn trumpet. <laughs> and it wasn't supposed to be sounded. Somebody trying to put it. They're like, look, no. I'm trying to make sure I got the right angle to make sure you are who you say you are. Be without you. Be without you. I don't want to live. Be without you. Live without you. I don't want to go. This person feel like they stuck on it at this point. I don't want to be alone. We vowed that, that we always be together, do whatever, said that it would never come between us. There could have been this unspoken bond that you thought maybe was there and somebody violated that contract and there was a new action taken. Get it and get it right. Somebody's really stuck in their head about this right here. It's like repeating over and over excessively. It's giving me the cassette energy. Somebody said they don't want to be without you. It's like, it's like, um, it's giving me the energy of, of how to be a player. This person sending out all these messages and then it's like the one who do something different, take a new action, do something outside of the box, outside of the norm, catches this person's attention. And, and it's like, they thought that they just wanted to win. And then when they realized it was more than just winning, it was it was like they tried to deny how they felt about something. And so we're going to turn that off real quickly. And so it's like this person is realizing now they want more. They thought they didn't. They thought it was the same with that four of cups energy. Now this person is rushing in or wanting to say something. Somebody is about to rush in. This person for sure is watching they're looking this emperor energy you got their attention or somebody got their attention whoever you are in the situ in, in this situation right here somebody watching this person thought that they were going to penny pinch and they got their karma they got their justice 
Let me just pull a few cards uh, to make sure I'm saying what I, I am saying because this is some twisted shit. So I'm going to pull the twisted oracle on it. <laughs> this person is shocked because you know what? You taught their ass a lesson. Look at that divine masculine. They not happy where they at. They, you blocked them. Somebody said, I don't want to be alone and you happily single. They looking at you thriving. They like, oh my God. Me walking away ain't even affecting them. Let me see who the F this B is. <laughs> who they dealing with? Let me see who they talking to. Let me find out that they talking to somebody else. I'm going to pop up on that. I'm going to spin the block. <laughs> that sound alarms on that ass. Who the F is this? Yeah, who the F is that B? <laughs> what else, Holy Spirit? Show me what I need to see and say for the collective. Let's see. We had 20 minutes. We got rejected somebody or some secrets massive regrets and love spells this person could feel like you put that ill na na on their ass a love spell this person could have been talking this person could have said you tried to put a love spell on them and they rejected something i don't know Somebody did something with the love spell and they regretting the shit. Somebody could have tried to put a love spell on you and it backfired and didn't work. And they're getting some type of judgment, some type of karma. You moving on for show, for show. You like, look, no. I don't know. Your energy could be protected. This person really, really likes you. Because we got that I like you over here. But they watching for real, for real. You put an end to this shit and they crying. This person is crying. I said, I don't want to be without you. It was, ooh. You got that fucking love. They said, I don't want to, I don't want to fight. We got bad news. Like the, like you took your phone off the hanger, off the ringer. You know, back in the day when you had the phones, which you got to put on the thing. Like if you take it off, it gives that block busy signal. This person can't get through. You are focusing in on your work. You moved on. This person could be just saying, damn, I can't even send no bad news your way. I want, I want to argue. I want to get some type of, some type of reaction out of you. I don't know. I just heard, we got that thug in love. This is that thug passion, right? <laughs> you know that energy where it's like a, black, a bad boy and good girl? But it's, it's, it's like the good girl just loves that thug passion that is given. Somebody could have been living in the moment. Somebody was sending love messages. I don't know. Somebody, they got past the chest cavity. They got past the rib cages and they touched the heart. Somebody was like, boop. They touched that heart. I don't know if it, if it was with the wood, you know, some, <laughs> something. I heard just no justice, no peace. I don't know where that came from. What else do I need to see and say, Holy Spirit? What else? Divine feminine coming out in the reverse. What you say? Somebody feel like you're not so divine, feminine. How dare you work, focus on your work and leave them out in the cold? Or maybe you, yeah, we got bad news in the reverse, divine feminine in the in reverse, and then I miss you. They feel like you did them dirty. Like you should go to jail. That's wrong how you treated them. I don't know if they feel like you should go to jail or not, but that is the energy that's coming off with it. Is it? I saw Twin Flame. Twenty-four. I don't know. What else? Somebody could feel like you did them like you did somebody, like somebody else did them. That bisexual card on the DL, I did a reading just a few minutes ago. Somebody that misses you got some secrets. 
We got the divine feminine in the reverse with the bad news in the reverse. <laughs> this divine feminine got somebody blocked. This person could feel like you have some secrets. You're working. You're putting your head down and you're healing. Are you um, trying not to focus on the back, you know, the past or the, the tears, the blood, whatever sweat that was shed? And somebody think you got some secrets, but you're mirroring this person. I'm getting like this person is in their head. They're unsure of where you're at. I don't know. It's giving me like somebody may have gotten a report about you or some type of evidence on you, especially with that page of pentacles being here. There was some type of evidence or something that turned up. What else is, what is this? What the hell is this love spell trying to come back out again? Guilt, embarrassed, in the wrong, ashamed. Somebody. Could have tried to do a love spell on you and it backfired on their ass. And now they're feeling the energy coming back towards them. You moved on. It's like they say with love spells and different spells that's put on you. Like if the love isn't there, it's just not going to come. Now it can cause like a, I don't know. I don't know the whole gist on spells and shit. So I'm not going to even go into detail with it. We got a workplace affair. Somebody in this person's workplace, this person could have like, they didn't call you. They didn't talk to you. They didn't say something. They just allowed you to put your head down, move on and, and you know, whatever. They let you leave. This person was doing something different. They may have gotten a love spell placed on them by somebody at their job. And this person is trying to cope with some type of pills, alcohol, or something, or maybe they got some type of evidence that somebody tried to do something to them and they feel guilty or embarrassed of something. What else? Spinning the block. So somebody definitely is trying to come back around. They want you to come back around. They feel like an ass. We got that workplace affair coming out. Somebody definitely learned a freaking lesson. What card is this flipped over? They had a toxic lifestyle. This person, they was just doing whatever they wanted to do, however they wanted to do it, whenever they wanted to do it. They had control of their life and they was going to do whatever they damn well please is what I'm getting. Somebody didn't want to conform. They had a lot of secrets that was going on. And now they're spying on you, watching you. We got spying, watching, looking twice on here. So this person definitely was looking home and trying to see what you was doing. This person got entangled with somebody else. Somebody could have lied on you and you didn't even know it. Because you don't even know it was some bad news that was being spread on you that made you look like a, a not so divine feminine. This person is missing you. They possibly found out the truth of something. And, and now they're like, damn, that was a whole fucking lie. Now they feel uh, ashamed, guilty. They did something, you know, out of spite, possibly to 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 sting back. And you weren't even in, you know, like wasn't even stinging nobody. Wasn't none of that trifling shit going on. It was just. Yeah, somebody did something with the wood. A little chug, a little wood, the could chug, chug. <laughs> I don't even know how it goes. A little, a little engine that could. If a little, if a, if a wood chug could chug, chug. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. I think I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. Sagittarius energy here with that temperance. Yeah, this person really liked you. They got some some news that you didn't know. It was like somebody lied on you that you don't even know. They don't know you, but they did something to get in the mix of something. Now somebody feels ashamed because they were very promiscuous. They possibly did something that was very unhealthy with either drugs, um, drinking. I'm getting strong enabler energy because I saw enable on something else. Somebody allowed this person to do what they wanted to do and they was, it was cool with it. But when you removed your energy, they felt it. 
they didn't know they was going to feel it, but they did. And they like, damn, now they want to rush back in, but you're guarded. You felt a, a betrayal and it's like you're moving on. You're in this waiting phase. This person may come back arguing, trying to fight and, you know, fuss about things. But it's like you're giving this person an ultimate. I don't know if it's an ultimatum or you were like, you had the opportunity to pick and choose, but you wanted to juggle, juggle, fumble, mix confusion. And then I'm getting, I heard like the devil is the author of confusion. So you're definitely standing your ground and you're not, you're not budging at all. Yeah. This person is just saying anything to get back in because they see progress with you and they see stability and a foundation of some sort, but it's like you're in this healing energy and you're focusing on your own cup. You moved on. You've transitioned. You could be a Scorpio with that uh, Queen of Cups and the, the death card here. But I'm getting like you're moving on and there is somebody else that's about to come into the position that was supposed to be there. A single. They they thriving in there. You know, it's, it's giving this supposed to come together energy. But collective, I'm going to end it there. I do want to thank you all for your time and stopping by. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Now, as always, please remember, being wanted feeds the ego. However, being valued feeds the soul. So if you are out and about in the community or whatnot and um, you see some, you know, a stranger or whatever, you know, bless them with a smile. You just never know who may feel invisible. But um, until the next time, make it a great day, my beautiful people.